Come on in. Okay, ready to start, guys. Sorry about that. The sun's back, Zoe. Okay, let me get my mat set up. Right. Okay, let's start in parallel. Let's just take our shoulders up, round and down. And again. Oh, just get rid of all those cricks and cracks. And then just a big arm circle. And two. And three. And four. And then the other way. Four. Three. And I'm going to ask you to do something rather strange in a second. We're just going to go up for eight. For seven. So you might have noticed that Miss Jo Rothwell, or Mrs. Jo Rothwell, is not on today because it's her birthday. So, even though I can't actually hear you guys, we're going to do two lots of eight squats and I want you to just sing happy birthday with me. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Okay, that'll do. So just send you, she's asking to send her the video. So um, happy birthday, sweetheart. And again, sun always shines on Joe's birthday. Let's go again. So remember, bum to that imaginary wall behind you. I've lost count. I can't sing happy birthday and count at the same time. We'll keep going for another eight, for a seven, for a six, for a five, for a four. For three, for two, one camera is really clear, the other one's not, and one. Well done. Let's just warm up through the hips. So, I want you to just go into like a warrior pose. So, one foot facing forward, the other one slightly turned in. And we're just going to reach forward and back, and forward and back. And again, take your arms into it now, circle round, mobilising through the shoulder and the hip. And again, another eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it over, just look and reach. Just a little stretch through the inner thigh and a little bit through the lateral spine as you take that hand here in and come up. Take a nice breath in and out. Set the shoulder blade back, squeeze the scapula together, core engaged, gently back up to the other side. Okay, so we're just going to take it in for four, and for three, and for two. Alright, Dan, I'll try this other one. Yes, you can come in from there, actually, Liz. Keep going, guys, circle around. Yeah, it's better on the motor roller actually, Liz. It's better on my YouTube one. So 
So I'll record, I'm recording that and I'll send you that as well. There's loads on there now. For 
for three, for two, for one, push it out, just lift, 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 four more, four, three, two, one, take that leg out to the side, draw the core in, shoulder blades down, if you need something to hold on to, take it to the other side, hopefully you won't, we're pretty good at balance now, take it out, thumbs up towards the ceiling, if your arms start to hurt, you can take them down, but remember by just holding and pushing the fingers to opposite walls, you're really working through the delts. So just lift and lower. Try and keep as upright as you can. Try not to come lean in. Three, four. Let's go again. For four, for three, for two, for one. Let's go again. For eight, for seven. So working through this standing leg as well. Sometimes that will hurt more than the other. Four, three, two, hold it up, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Exhaust this standing leg if you can. I know it's tough. We'll do a nice hamstring stretch in a sec. Go into hip extension. Okay, so when you're in hip extension, don't think about lifting the leg too high at the back. It's more about length. So a little bit of arabesque work. So I'll take your arms forward, draw the navel in, lift, so I'm lifting that back leg and lower. You don't have to take it to the floor if the balance allows. It's really hard looking at two, uh, two cameras like going a bit more side. And again, and for eight, for seven, for six, for five, four, yeah, if, the, if it glitches or anything, guys, just let me know. It should be all right. I'm hoping I've got mobile data on so you just switch to it. So if Wi-Fi kicks down. Let's go three, two. Let's hold it. Let's take our hands out. Hold. If you can, with this hand, see if you can reach backwards. And a lot of work on that standing leg. If you're managing the whole sequence, well done. Balance is super important. And gently down, straighten that front leg, chin to chest, gentle roll down. Just come to your range of motion where you feel that the hamstring is about three to four on a stretch scale. I don't want it to feel painful. Let the head hang. So don't worry if you can't get it all the way to the floor. Take some nice breaths in and out. And again. The last one. Bend that front knee, gently restack back up. Shoulders back and down. Well done. We all know my left leg is a little bit weaker than the right, so let's just see if yours is the same, guys. So again, we generally have one side that's a little bit stronger. Draw the core in, shoulders back and down. Lend through the crown of the head. Let's take it straight into that hip flexion and knee extension. And out, and for two, and for three. Hope the whole school is going well, Philippa. <laughs> My kids as well. Do these. They were they've been really good. So again, bring it in, take it out. We had a bit of a spat the other day. And Jude went to put his arms around his fin and fin went like that and busted. In seven weeks, I think he's going to be marvellous. And good, take it out. Remember that abduction. So again, if you need something to hold on to, draw the core in. Work in the side, glute movement, lift. And take it in, or hold, reach, reach. Good. And again, for eight, for seven. Well, a bit easier than lying on the floor, so you might not mind these ones quite so much. Hold up, hold. Just notice, is that left leg feeling weaker? And back, draw the core in, and arms out. Point the foot, if you point the foot, you work the calf. 
the hamstring, the posterior chain had an inner flexion where it was stretching. Good work, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up if you can. Bring it into dancer's pose. I'm just going to work on that other one with you guys. Hold it. Quite warm, don't flash. And relax, well done. Just take it into that front. So chin to chest, hips backwards, gently down to the floor, making sure you are stretching out. Let the head hang towards the thigh. Take a breath in and out. In. And out. Last two. Last one. Bend the knee. Slowly up. If you're looking for a good film, guys, I watched Hidden Figures the other night, which was really good. And circle back. Well done. Okay, let's take it into a little bit of endurance. Okay, so we are going to literally come out down into our Nice deep squat position and see, see if you can do it in turn out. So obviously, first position, walk it into second. Take the hips backwards, just take it down. A little bit of endurance, you know what's coming. Three, two, one. Raise the right heel and lower. Raise for two. Raise for three. Raise for four. For four. For three. For two. For one, the other side. I'm missing Alex's face, Philippa. She always sends me a message just saying, I've done it, Joe. I think she just struggles with getting to class with the kids and stuff. So she tends to do it a little bit later on, which is fine. So, yeah. And then back for four, for three, for two. Feel the burn. And one, the other side. And for three, and for two. And for one, both together, and for eight, and for seven, and for six, legs should be shaking, and for five, and for four, and for three, and for two, and for one, hold it up if you can, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and great, well done, again, just gently back and down. Oh, just take your hands onto your forehead and just have a nice shift side to side. Just to release through the back. Just a couple more breaths. And gently take a breath in and slowly start coming back up. I always think I can do it when I start tying my hair up. And then back to centre position. Okay, let's just put a little bit more cardio into it, not jumping. It's not a hip class, but we're going to just do a plie into a tondu. So remember, tondu is where you take your big toe to the mat. So again, I know we're doing quite a bit of bar today, guys. I love this one nice lat a little bit. So take it down and over for eight, for seven, for six. Reach, reach five, reach four. Side of the body often gets really tight. Two, one, other side. Eight, really come down into your plie though as well. Six, five, four, three, two, one, four, four, reach, three, two, other side, four, three, two, one for two, 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 alternate. And for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Well done. Good work. Give yourself a little circle in as we're going to get ready for our weight section and our lunges. So, if you don't have any weights, you can use, the, you know, a little water bottle, tins of beans, soup, whatever you've got. Or just do your arm action, because we're working quite hard through the legs as well. Okay, so, when we're doing a lunge, so 
don't want any of this kind of short stance, yeah? We need to have a nice wide stance. If you want to work more into the bum, make sure the weight is slightly forward and not upright, because then it'll go more into just the legs. Okay, so hip distance apart. Take our arms down by our sides. Three, two, one. We're going into bicep, nice and easy. And for two. And for three. So bicep, these are quite, you can easily double up with a bicep one. It's okay. <laughs> and, uh, and for eight. And for seven. And for six. So you can either do one arm at a time or both. Bicep, like I say, you can generally use a lot bigger weight than if you're doing more of a tricep. Working through the legs as well. And last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sometimes it's nice to do unilateral as opposed to bilateral both together. Because if you've got an injury like I have through my neck, obviously, um, <clears throat> then you might not be able to carry quite as much on that other side until you've fully recovered from the injury. So again, arms down by your side. Take it down. Three lots of air. So you'll see on this one, and it's just the strength not quite there yet. And it's been what? Three and a bit months, I think, since the car accident. And again. So I feel like I'm just using a bit more momentum on this side. So keep the elbow down, glued in. For eight. For seven. For six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Well done. Switch again. This time, if you were doing unilaterally, take them back into both hands. <coughs> Losing my voice. And again, draw the navel in. This time, we're going to stay down in that lunge. Take it overhead, back, and up. Yeah, so that shoulder. So bicep, overhead reach, and back, and again. So for three, and four, and three, and two, and one. So if I'm honest, these weights are a little bit light for me for bicep work. But um, I don't know where I'm going now. My studio did a little bit of a mess. I've been massaging Martin. Because he's been plastering the ceiling, so his back and his neck have been sore. Last day, keep going. Good work. Legs are probably burning a bit. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Good work. Just take the... Weight into the front knee to take that back heel down to the floor, just to feel the calf stretching. <sighs> Look at one surviving, guys. I just heard, um, uh, I think they might have a vaccine, don't they? Well, they stick your antibodies, so we shall see. And the other side. Yeah, it looks like I'm in a fog on this phone today. Um, doesn't mean I might have to move from around the cameras, actually. So you keep playing about with them. Okay, other side. So we've got three lots of eight. Again, down, overhead reach, back. And again, two. And three. And four. And four. It's been a long week. Three. Two. Anyone else having strange dreams? I keep having these not very nice dreams. I was reading that it's quite sort of normal at the minute, that everyone's sleep pattern's a little bit weird. So, yeah. And again, four, three, two, one. Try and keep them elbows glued. Last day, eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Well done again. Take that back heel. Feel a stretch through that big gastrocnemius muscle. Bigger part of the calf, the belly of the calf. And again. 
Christian is feeling like a little bit more now. We've got a little bit more work into abduction. So just go easy with abduction, guys. It's one that if you've ever kind of had any frozen shoulder, then it can be our rotator cuff problems. So you don't try, just keep the elbow slightly lower than the shoulder. Draw the navel in. If you want to do it in first position, you can. Yeah, wait till the inner thighs a bit more. But again, remember using your external rotators. So if you're used to, if you get a bit of sciatica, do it in parallel. Draw the navel in, bring it up, calf raise. And for two, try not to do flop around, yeah? Really resist, think about that middle finger going to opposite sides of the wall. And again, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Well done, back down, take them up, turn the palms up into bicep. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and again, don't get frightened, guys, when it says it's recording, you know, I flip your voices and faces out now, <laughs> so you're not going to get some random person. There were loads of me and Raf chatting on Saturday, so uh, it was quite funny. And into this position, cactus arms, take it in. And again, give the legs a bit of a rest. Enjoy that break with the legs. And again, last eight, eight, seven, try and keep the ribs down. Five, seven, six, five, four. Johanna, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, yeah, I always do. I always say last set and then I do another. And down, release, just take it round. Oh. Okay, good work. Let's just take it into, what shall we do? Yeah, let's take it into first position. So first position, in like this. Then as we take that leg out, that comes out. And it goes the other way. First six, first five. So ideally, if you've got a wooden floor, you can try and drag the leg back in. It's a little bit hard if you haven't. Go to the front now. Eight, seven, six. Try not to let the shoulders sort of hike up. Good. Two, one, four. Four to the side. Three, two, one. Four to the front. Four, three, two, one. Two to the side. Two, two to the front. Two. One last set into eight again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one to the front. Eight, seven. The overhead ones, see, these are harder. Woo! You've got quite big weights. Three, two, one, four, three. Nice um, stretch coming up. Four, three, two, one, two to the side, two, two, and one. Well done. Oh, just step them back and down. We've just got a tricep and then we've got some nice shoulder stretches. Okay, so a uh, tricep, a little bit harder than bicep, I always say. You want to take your weights to your rib cage. Make sure the shoulders are down. Yeah, take them out. So you want your arms as high as you can get them without hiking up. Yeah, go to there, back in, take it out, hold, back in, take it out, hold, back in. That's where the work goes on, on the hold. And back, four more, four, back in, three, back in, two, make sure that back heel's down as well, so you're getting a bit of a stretch for the leg. One, hold it, slide the scapula down, lift your arms as high as you can, push up, up. Up, up, four, three, two, one, and again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. You can move that other leg if you want, just so you're getting a little bit of a stretch. How are you? That's fine, that's it. Yeah, good. And again, so it's not bicep, we're not bringing our hands to the front. Don't want to see your hands at 
four, tricep, take it out, back in, and for seven, back in, nice and slow, for six, back in, for five, back in, for four, back in, for three, back in, for two, back in, for one, hold it, slide the scapula down, lift your arms, lift them, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, oh, lovely juggling, we've just got one more, see I told you, we've got one more, what am I, you just think we've got one more, okay, so let's just take it down, all I want you to do is just for a little bit of endurance in the legs, yeah, keep the core engaged, make sure your bum's not stuck out, so we're just going to glue our arms in, bring the weights together, and take it out, keep the ribcage engaged, pretty easy um, on your sort of, it doesn't feel much like you're doing much, it's really good done weighter, just to work the rotator, so the rotate plus muscle, in and out. He always seems to manage to have a bit off when it's the other way. Let's try. It's not an obvious change when it's three of us. And five, four, three, two, one. Last set. Eight, seven, six. It's probably your legs that are burning more. Five, four, three, two. And one. Good work, guys. Put them down to the floor. Give yourself just a little bit of an in and out with the hands. Take the palms towards you. Ring finger, middle finger. Take the backs of the hands and round. Just. We won't do any plank work today. But we might do a little bit, but just maybe on forearms. Okay, deltoid stretch. Take your right arm out. Left hand comes underneath. You pull it across. Some nice breaths. I'm thirsty, I need some water. I need to drink my water. And back. And the other way. So Johanna, if you bring if you send me your um just trying to think on, I can probably add you to a WhatsApp group, just because I like to send. I don't know how through Move I send a Zoom recording. But if you want the recording, just give me a bell and I can just send you it on um, WhatsApp or send you the link to YouTube. I try and record, not all of them, but some on YouTube so that you can watch them. And my Motorola camera is slightly better than this one. It's not in the sun as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now, get your weights, take them out of the way, um, risk assessment and all that, and we're just going, and I said we're not going to do plank, and we're not really, <laughs> she says, but we're going to do a little bit of a walkout plank. So I want you just to take your feet, so they're a little bit wider than normal, than hip distance, yep, and just to get the hamstrings nice and stretched out. We're going to take the hips backwards, the chin to chest, and just gently start rolling down. Feeling that lovely stretch. And then walk it out into your plank position. Okay, hold it into plank. Just hold it. Only for about 10 seconds, nothing major. Make sure you're not dropping through the breastbone. Keep the core nice and tight. Take your bum nice and the ceiling, walk the hands back a little bit, let the head hang towards the thighs, and take the heels towards the floor. Don't worry if you can't get them all the way down. Of course, we're a little bit wider than normal, the heels will probably go that bit further, and then start walking it back. So if the hamstrings are still super tight, have a little bit of softness in the knee. And gently back. Well done, that's do three more. Chin to chest, hips backwards, gently down. Oh, feeling that lovely legs lengthening again, walking out. And again into your plank position, core engaged, heels towards the floor, make sure you're not dropping in the breastbone. Nice and strong. Draw the navel in. So plank obviously great for a lot of things. Core 
connection, shoulders stability. Just make sure that the shoulders are down your back. Take the hips nice and high, let the head hang, let the heels down. If plank's too much or you really don't want to do it, just give yourself a rest. Go into the child pose. You have my permission. And then gently up, shoulders down. It's your own practice, guys. Get the hips prepped. Shoulders down. Okay. Go into whichever one you want to do. If 
if you can't lift your leg without dropping, you're not strong enough. Don't worry about it. Just go into the practice of lifting heel. Otherwise, I'm going to count you in. I'm going to push my right foot into the mat because my right side is stronger. So I'm going to start with that one. Take my left leg to tabletop. I'm being kind to you today. We're only doing three lots of eight. Little drop and lift. A drop for two. If you prefer to straighten your leg, you can. For three. For four. Is not glued that down, Manuel. Well. Six. Seven. Eight. Do lots of eight. I love my men so much, you know I do, guys. But, oh, Zoe, are you feeling it? Surrounded by boys and men all the time. I need some girly, girly time. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Can we do one more set? Come on, we can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, well done. Push through the other foot. Or oh, just keep lifting and lowering. Taking it in and out of bridge if you feel you need to. Push that left leg in. And we drop, we lift. We drop, we lift. For three. For four. For five. It really is only a little drop. Really strengthening that glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice booty. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. This one's fatiguing more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a breath in and slowly down. So Frank and Sarah if you're not feeling right, I've been at courses today. I've got them at 12 o'clock actually. I made the mistake, push that, take that right foot on, push the left knee, uh, right knee away, sorry. Just bring it up if you need to increase that stretch. I made the mistake of asking my 12 o'clock class for requests and then um, one of my friends loves courses and she's had to learn to climb on sideways circles. So I'm quite glad that we are on this today. And just hold. And then just gently down, take that leg long. Take the leg into tabletop, opposite hand, and just gently take it over. This sometimes gets into the bottom, but it's more of a sacroiliac joint, kind of you feel it all around that lower back area. Take a lovely breath in. Send it in. Breath in. And then just back in, just squeeze it in, we've got some abdominal work, I'll just make sure I do instructions just in case the other phone runs out, it's only like I say we'll pause for 15 minutes, and then uh, again into glute stretch, so just in case you're doing YouTube or something and we're halfway through an exercise and it runs out, and then just push away. Down, opposite hand. Make sure when you're doing glue or abdominal work, you know, that you really do do your stretches as well. It's got a lot of muscles around the lower back. So it's all the ab muscles, internal glutes, the TA, all the QL. Love so many. So remember that you are working the muscles hard. And then just give it a nice squeeze. And well done. Okay, let's go into our abdominal work. So. We're going to finish at about 25 past, maybe a little bit before, so let's make these work. Okie dokie, so nice neutral spine, so give yourself your pelvic imprint release, fine where you're in neutral, pubic bone to hip bone is level, if you have like a triangle shape, blend through the front of the chest, let's gently bring right leg up to tabletop and left leg, let's take them nice and high. You know who you are, the people who really find straight leg difficult, have a little bit of softness in the knee, don't pull on the back. Yeah, so even though we're doing scissor, you can have a bit of softness. Okay, our straight leg. Try if you can, go into almost like, not imprint, but like between imprint and normal neutral spine when we do um, scissors. Bring the right leg towards you so you're feeling a stretch through the um, hamstrings and then gently down. You can put your hands underneath head if you prefer, interlinking the fingers, you can lift up into chest lift, yeah, but make sure that you've got, you know, often we'll take hands away, but just let's watch the neck, it's a little bit more obviously difficult when someone's to people, so when we're doing scissor, we want to 
want to make sure that our leg isn't going so far down that we're starting to tip the imaginary brutes on our tummy down into the mat. So keep drawing that core in. See if you good for that lower tummy area, particularly when you have three pesky cesarean. I'm always, I'm always learning with this. I can't be always found when you've got the flat before I have cut off my own brutes. Okay. I always tell people, you know, they've never had a baby. Oh, I think we need to be prepared to have a cesarean. I'm like, no. Keep all your muscles intact. Okay. Good work. Oh, 
adjust to the hips, reach in, reset against that middle wall, down again. So getting that mobility back in the spine, chin to chest. Next week I'll remember that we've done more legs today. And now we're going to might do maybe a 20 minute abdominal session. So we step back up. And one more pull up. Gently down. Good breath in. Forward. Oh, felt that by the end. And gently back. And just give yourself that lovely, lovely stretch when you pull the knees into chest. Remember, you can always request a certain type of class and gently just come over onto your side. Oh, it's still recording. And yeah, it runs out about 52. So just take your time, guys. I'm just going to come over. I'm just going to stop this video. Bye.